What's up everybody? So we're out in the shop and in this episode we are going to be finishing this build right here. Now this is the one that we took a piece of scrap steel and we forged it out into this knife shape to be able to maximize our steel that we had. In this episode we need to focus on finishing this knife. So we're going to do the heat treat process. We're going to be putting handle scales on it, getting it sharpened, and utilize this thing in this video. So let's go ahead Let's jump out to the other shop, let's get this thing normalized and heat treated so we can get back in here and put some handle scales on this thing. Let's do it.
All right, the old wood chop. Yep, say that works. All right guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. A little close up right here. Really like the finish on the blade. We got our forged finish here because we did forge in our bevels. We just ground them a little bit flatter so we would get this nice transition line. There's almost no plunge line here. Like there's almost nothing to grab because everything was pretty much already forged in there. We just flattened an area, like I said, to give us a transition between the two finishes. And we just did a scotch bright finish on the bevels. Nice sanded finish all the way down the spine. And then for our scales, we did the micarta scales with the mallard green liners. And you can see our nice distal taper throughout the tang there. Black micarta pins. Really excited about this one. I think it turned out absolutely awesome. And I'm looking forward to hearing what y'all think about it. I mean, remember, that was just a scrap piece of 1084. Just an excess cut off of one of the ends of one of these big old chunks right here. So we were able to take just a little bit of scrap right there forge it out and turn it into a knife and maximize our steel because some people would have thrown that piece away or it just got tossed into a bin and maybe forgotten about instead of taking and forging it into something that can make you a little bit of money to be able to buy a new tool or something like that. But there you go. I'm really excited about that. Another thing that I'm really excited about is uh, just a little bit of this shirt right here. You know, this is uh, one of the shirts that I am trying out to see if I like the, the way that the logo is printed and everything. Plus the back right there. I really like the, the logo and the way everything is placed on this. I want to know. I want to get some feedback from y'all. Do y'all like this? If I was to make these, would y'all purchase them? I've been going back and forth on whether I'm going to end up doing merch and when I'm going to do it, but I want it to be something that really y'all just want to wear. I don't want it to be something that just has my logo on it, a real simple little logo just on the front. I want it to look like something that you would have gone out and looked for to purchase. You know, I see a lot of the the fellow YouTube creators, they'll come up with their merch and they'll be ba very basic. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all the way in like I do on every single knife build and just stuff that I do in life. So I'm worried about, you know, the comfort of the shirt. How long is the logo going to last through wash cycles and all that stuff with you having to put in the washer and dryer, all those things. I just want to make sure that if I'm going to put out something that it is absolutely going to be top notch. It's going to look really cool and it's going to be something that you're going to want to wear all the time. So I am interested to know what y'all think about the logo, how everything's set up on the front and the back. So let me know down in the comment section below. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. If y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. One of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.